the... Here's the weird thing about this week's news. I was invited to Buckingham Palace yesterday for the draw of, of the Rugby League World Cup. Oh. And was being drawn by Prince Harry. Yeah. So, so Prince Harry had drew, did drew... the draw for the Rugby League World Cup? Yes. That sounds like something the Queen's made him do as a punishment. <laughs> <laughs> well, fair play to him, because that was, that was locked in before all of this yeah. happened. And then they made the announcement, but he still said, no, 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 I'm going to do it. And it's yeah. entirely possible this is the last thing he will do. Are you sure he didn't say... That is the last thing I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing, I wasn't going to go. No. Because I thought, well, we need to prepare this show. We need a yeah. Thursday to prepare this show. Which Such is hilarious price. when you consider how fucking ramshackle it is. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and then people going, no, you've got to go, you've got to go. You might meet him. I thought, I'm not going to meet Prince Harry. I mean, what's going to happen? So I went yesterday. This is the best thing that's ever happened, by the way. I was introduced to Prince Harry, and this was his reaction. Adam, I think you've no, um, Adam, Adam will play in the uh, physical disability. Uh, when did you grow this? I, I said I would grow it until Brexit was sorted. Adam! I mean, I thought his reaction was going to be, where's the other Harry biker? If I'm honest with you. <laughs> It's unbelievable. Well, so he then introduced himself to everybody else and then said, right, so who, who, who are the players here? And then looked at me and went, well, I know you don't play. <laughs> and I went, well, actually, I do. And I started to tell him about how I play disability rugby league. I can now. I've got a medical condition. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm not entirely sure what position you play when you've got hemorrhoids. I think dod dodgy, uh. dodgy left back. <laughs> uh, I don't want to go in the scrum, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I, I tried to talk about rugby league, but he then got distracted by the beard, and then this happened. The beard is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I love the, the, the middle section, of the, the fact that you've manicured it so beautifully to let the side grow. I've actually never seen that before, and I've seen some beards. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently it's called the Jeff from Biker Grove. <laughs> Who calls it that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hopefully it's coming off in two weeks' time. OK, well, maybe we'll see. <laughs> I love that! There's two people yeah. who've never seen Biker Grove yeah. Yeah. discussing Biker Grove. <laughs> 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 I just imagine Prince Harry just walking away from it going, so, Megan, we have made the right decision. <laughs> <laughs> this country. <laughs> I just, what blows my mind is we're doing a topical show... Yeah. ..that he's just the main person in the biggest story of the year, mm -hmm. right? You've met him... Yep. ..and you've talked about your fucking beard! <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't have missed the story more! <laughs> well, that would be mootless. If when she'd sat down with Prince Andrew, she'd gone, ''Shall we talk about my hair for an hour?'' <laughs> <laughs> the weird thing was, later yesterday afternoon, I got a text from one of the guys in our, in our rugby league team who'd been watching it, and his name's Harry. And I, so I looked at my phone and there's a message and it says, Harry, from Harry, great to see you at the palace today. <laughs> I got really excited. I thought he was stressing <laughs> Harry. <laughs> but then I thought... What? There's more? There's more, because I thought, well, this is going to... This might not even make the news in Australia. And yeah. I was really excited to, like, have friends and family in Australia go, oh, my God, we just saw the news and you met Prince Harry. And it did make the news, but a guy called James tweeted me uh, and said, uh, is it OK that Seven News in Brisbane made this error? He attached this photo. Have a look. <laughs> <laughs> Out. Clearly, that is Prince Andrew on the right. That's not me on the left. <laughs> I have never met Prince Andrew in my life, and if I have, I don't recall meeting Prince Andrew. <laughs> in fact, the date, the date that photo was taken, I was at Grant Place Pizza in Bacchus <laughs> I was having a diamond cut. I remember it specifically. <laughs> Uh, uh, Darren Goodhind said, is it OK that Adam's beard got the royal seal of approval this week? <laughs> yeah, I mean, technically it is. Yeah. Prince Harry described it as one of the best manicured and styled beards I've ever seen. Fuck. Oh. I know. And, but here's the weird thing. We've then have, no, I've, I've had tweets from people, and we've had tweets here overnight from people saying, now it has to stay. The, the plan was this beard was going to come off on the 31st of January, like, yeah. as we left the EU, but now I'm wondering if it's had the royal decree, should the beard stay? Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, look, I'm going to open it up as a poll. That's our poll tonight. Should I keep the beard? <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> <laughs> Tweet us at the last leg. Use the hashtag Adam's beard stays or Adam's beard goes. No. 
But look, I, it is quite a big deal when a member of the royal family endorses your beard. Do you know what my beard is now? <laughs> it's up... very rare that that happens. <laughs> my beard is now up there with Weetabix, Twinings, and Waitrose. <laughs> and I think we should mark it properly. I think we should mark it like this. It is hereby announced by a decree from His Highness, the Duke of Sussex, that the facial growth known as Adam's beard, styled in the manner of Jeff from Biker Grove, <laughs> has the official royal seal of approval. I now pronounce you the heir to the throne.